enough to share because our elders are important in carrying our culture forward. And this is a story that was told from the days when the forests were thick and the men used their labor to bring home food for their families. And in this small village there were two young people who fell in love in a culture where they were not supposed to cross over and fall in love. But they did and the wrath of the families around them was great. And they left the village because they were outcasts, and they went to another area to earn their livelihood. And once there, the father worked in the woods, and the mother, as was traditional, looked after the family. And the children came year after year, but the love was there, although they had little. Until the day that the tree that was being felled fell on the father, and the family was left with nothing, destitute, and the mother was left with children who couldn't be fed. And so she did the only thing that you could do in those days. And the children were parceled out. The boys were sent to the woods to work on the very trees that had filled their fathers. And the girls were sent, even the youngest one of seven, for a seven-year-old can haul a, a, a great hot full of coal. And they can clean and they can dust and they can make life beautiful for those who live on the wealth that is gained from the death of the workers. And there the mother was left finally with a three-year-old child. And who wants a three-year-old child? They're of no use to anyone. 
And so the mother had to find a home for this child. And she went back to her home village and she went to the relatives and no one would take her. They all rejected her until she finally reached her last home, the home of the lighthouse keeper and his daughter, Mary. Now Mary had never had any siblings and Mary was a woman of great love. And when she saw this child being brought to her father's door, she couldn't refuse the child. But the father looked at the child's mother and said, no, no, you broke the cultural barriers of the community. We don't want you here, but we will take your child. So the mother left the three-year-old and went to seek her own living. And when that child was there on its first night in the great lighthouse, with the great light sweeping round and round, and if you've ever watched the lighthouse, you people who are maritimers, you know that you come through periods of lightness and periods of darkness. Then the child is lying in a strange room all alone. The child begins to cry because he doesn't know what's happening to his life. And as he's there crying, Mary comes into the room to the child, and Mary gathers that child up in her arms, that little three-year-old, and she holds the child tight, and she says to the child, I will sing you a lullaby and soothe your soul. And she sings to the child. Neath the sweep of the light, you shall live out your life. With the help of your maker, you shall weather all strife. From the sweep of the light, wherever you might roam, you must follow the light. It will guide your way home. And the child was calmed. And from that night forward, when the child saw the sweep of the light, he knew he was in the arms of Grace and in the arms of Mary. And two years went by, and the child was happy and grew to be a lad of seven. When there came a knock to the door, and there was a woman who was almost a stranger to him, and it was the mother, coming to reclaim what had been lost to her. For her fortunes had reversed, she thought, and she was about to marry. And now she thought she could provide a home for this child in another community. So the child was taken to the great grief of all. The child remained with the mother ever so briefly because the mother found that the new husband did not want the spawn of another man's seed in his home. And the child was again rejected and brought back to the lighthouse. And when that child saw the lighthouse and saw that light sweeping above him, he was filled with joy and he looked at Mary and he sang, Neath the sweep of the light, I shall live out my life. With the help of my maker, I'll weather all strife. From the sweep of the light, where'er I shall roam, I'll just follow the light. It will guide my way home. And there the child remained. Then the child grew up to become a man, as children will do. But the heart of that man was still that of the child, who loved Mary and who loved the light. But he loved his country too, and his country called as countries will. And young men must go, their blood must spill. And he fought on the shores of a faraway land. And there he found himself in a battle far from home, on the shore where a lighthouse also stood. And as the battle raged, the young man's luck ran out. And not only did his luck run out, his blood ran out. His blood flowed into the shores of the foreign soil, as the blood of many a men before him had done. And as he lay there on the foreign shore, with the sweep of a foreign light bathing the evening glow, the young man was sure he could hear in his mind his own voice, his own voice singing. Neath the sweep of the light, I did live out my life. With the help of my maker, I weathered much strife. From the sweep of the light, it's far I did roam. Now I'll follow that light. It will guide my way home. Yes, I'll follow that light. It will guide my way home.
Thank you.